Are you able to hear God's voice when you pray? Or do you sometimes just pray and pray to God and then you don't get any responses? Well, the real question is, how do you hear God's voice? Are you just praying to God? Are you just pouring out you? You're just pouring out your heart to Him. Do you have a way of hearing God's voice? Do you have a way of listening to the Holy Spirit and being sure that you're not just talking to yourself, but you are talking to God and you are receiving feedback from Him? Now, I welcome you to my channel. My name is Adeke Babalola, and this is the KIB Homeschool channel for stay-at-home homeschool moms who are looking for ways to teach their children at home and still work from home. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how journaling can help you to hear God's voice. So if you'd like to keep receiving videos like this, make sure you click on the subscribe button below and turn on the bell so that you get notifications every time a new video is up. So you're probably wondering what is going on here. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you and I'm going to be reading to you from my journals, okay? These are journals that I have been keeping since 20... I, I think we're just going to check. We're going to go through them to see what years they belong to. But first of all, before we begin to dig deep into this, I want to ask you, are you somebody that keeps journals? Do you, do you journal? And in case you're somebody who doesn't journal much, you're probably wondering what is journaling, what is journaling? Journaling is just a way of writing down reflective thoughts that describe what you are feeling or what you are going through at a particular time or things in your things on your mind that you just need to put out okay so a journal is different from a diary because when you use your diary you're probably writing what you did in a particular day okay i went to the restaurant i dropped the kids at school i read a book and all of that but when you journal it is a mindful process of pouring out the thoughts on your mind or maybe the situations around you. So I want you to type in the comment. I want you to pause this video and type in the comment if you journal. Do you journal? If yes, you know, share your experience with me in the comments below. Now, this is it. How exactly can journaling help you to hear God's voice? So, you know, many of us go through life the way there's just this way all of us many of us grew up you're used to you wake up in the morning you say your morning prayers you do your morning devotion maybe sometime in the afternoon you whisper a prayer where you're gonna have lunch and then at night when you want to go to bed you pray and you sleep but do you know what you're doing it's like right now i'm recording this video right i am talking to you and talking to you and talking to you and then i don't pause to listen to what you have to say to me that is what happens when you pray to God and you don't keep quiet to listen to him. So when you do that five minute prayer, you're about to lock the door and you pray, thank you Jesus for blah, 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 and you rush out of the house. <sighs> Come on, you just poured stuff on God. Yes, he heard you, but you didn't wait to listen to him. You, don't, you didn't care about what he had to say to you. And if you continue to live like that, you'll be making major mistakes. This is 2023. You cannot afford to live life just talking to God and talking to God and not listening to him. As See, these journals are filled with instructions that I received from God while I was writing to God. It is okay to kneel down and pray. It is okay to pray on the move. But there is something special about writing down your prayer. Did you ever write love letters when you were in school? Did you write to your best friend? And they would reply you, right? They would send you letters and you'll be so eager to read them. That is it. Communication is a two-way street. It takes two to tango. One person sends something, the other person sends another. These are my journals from yeah, 2021, 2022, and then, you know, this is the new journal for the new year. This is 2023. Okay, with God, you, you can't just talk and go, except you are just praising God. But when you ask God for things, when you, you want him to guide you, when you want the Holy Spirit to talk to you, you honestly do need to hear God's voice. And so I want you to know that hearing God's voice is something that you can achieve through journals. Now, how does keeping journals help you to hear God's voice? The number one thing is it helps you to be present. 
when you wake up very early in the morning and you know nobody's calling your name your children are in bed to cry mommy or daddy you know there's nobody to distract you let's say you wake up around 4 a.m or 3 a.m or even 5 a.m once everywhere is quiet and still and you're able to pen down your thoughts and talk to god the truth is he is able to speak to you at that point and you are more likely to hear him many of us are used to praying and just moving we just pray and we get on the move we go we go to work we go to school we rush off to the next thing but when you pray to god you really cannot afford to not hear his responses sometimes you might be asking god for something and then you need to actually know what let's say you want to, to make a move you know maybe you want to apply for your job and you're asking dear god should i apply for this job you want to hear him tell you what his, his decision is and it could be anything else you know you want to get a new home you want to relocate to another country you want to get married you want to have children there is there's almost nothing you can ask god for when you do ask god are you able to hear back from him if you cannot hear god's voice it is possible that you are not stopping to listen you are not creating time to pause and hear what he has to say to you now these are my journals from 2021 i have so many more but if i decided to bring this out if you look at this you see 2021 and it has you see you see that it's dusty and everything because i had to dig it out okay look at this these are pages of sometimes i actually just pray to god in gratitude thank you for this thank you for that thank you for this thank you for that that's what you have on all through it okay and then my expectations other things the ideas that he gave me i remember this was the idea he gave me for my online course okay the online course that helped me to work from home everything boils down to talking to god okay so if you're able to pause and listen you're most likely going to know what god is saying to you this is another one from 2020 and 2021 and it has it has a lot inside it okay you know this is the one for 2022 okay and i get you know in my journal i write I, I put in ideas i put in thoughts i put in things that i'm inspired to do i write my gratitude i write my ideas look at this dear god only you can do this 125k in five days wow i'm in awe i'm grateful for your love and grace it's been so long since i last wrote you this is january 6 wow and today well i'm recording this video on january 3rd okay so you know this are pages look at pages of me talking to god when you pray in your journal you are able to be calm and attentive and when god is going to put ideas in your mind is he, you would hear him because you are present you are aware of yourself talking to god and it's not as if you're going to be formal when you talk to him you're going to share as much as you can because he's your father and he knows you he knows everything about you okay you know i think sometime last year when i couldn't go out to get the real the big journals like this i had to use books like this and then you know when i journal i i get ideas god gives me ideas you know there are things in here there are things in here and you know the, the idea he gave me today i started putting them inside this one this is for 2023 journaling helps you to be present it helps you to pour you out to god sincerely no matter what you're going through and then you are able to hear him because god doesn't just want us to talk to him god wants us to stop and listen to him in every relationship there is somebody talking and somebody listening and when the person that is talking stops talking the person who is listening takes their turn and they talk so it's not enough for you to just pray and pray you need to be able to hear God. So as you proceed with 2023, I encourage you to begin to journal. You don't have to get any very fancy. If you don't, if you can't afford to get fancy books or fancy pens, just start with what you have. It can be a regular notebook like this. Just make sure that you you, you begin the habit of writing letters to God so that you are able to calm down and really pour out yourself to him and hear back from him because it is not enough to pray to god you need to hear what he has to say okay so that's it for this video i hope that you got a lot of value i will be sharing more videos like this in the future so i hope that you will click on the button below to subscribe and don't forget let god lead okay i'll see you in the next one